but let's get going because it's two o'clock. All right, so today's training is we're going to show you how to set up a Facebook video ad. And in the training, we're going to go over old versus new tactics, costs, um, the strategy that we're going to go over, the setup, and then there'll be a little Q&A at the end uh, and a bonus. So the way most of my trainings work are it's usually about 30 to 45 minutes of training. It's older, over the shoulder type training. I don't really love like tons of PowerPoint slides or this is a PDF. Um, I like to actually jump in and, and do it. So we'll go over a couple slides, then I'll jump right into Facebook and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So I do recommend that you unplug from your distractions, you know, pay attention, you know, don't follow what I'm doing while I'm training right now because you're going to get the recording. So we'll do it now. Um, you'll get the recording, then follow my instructions because it is a little confusing to, it, it's good to watch it through once and then um, go through it again and kind of implement everything. So a little bit about myself. My name is Steven. I'm the owner of Hair Modelers. Um, we work exclusively with kitchen and bathroom modelers, countertop companies. I've been doing this for about 10 years, worked with a couple of marketing companies, realized they did an absolutely horrible job for their clients. So then I started doing it on my own. And then the last about two, three years, just really focused on your industry. So most of our clients are countertop companies um, and kitchen and bathroom modelers. And you know, my wife's Lisa, she's actually a graphic designer, so she helps on some projects. Uh, my, my son's Mason and my daughter's Lola. They are home right now, and we all work from home, so you could possibly hear them at some point, but it's all good. So let's go over here. So let's talk about some of these old tactics. So, you know, some of the old tactics are uh, local TV, right? You know, when I used to work in marketing at a marketing company, they were actually owned TV stations, and then they also did digital marketing. So, you know, these numbers are an estimate. It's not, you know, set in stone, these numbers. But for the company that I worked for, you know, it'd be about $5,000 per 1 million viewers, and that's for a TV commercial. Now, again, the problem is you really, they know their audience pretty good. Like they could tell you a lot of specifics about the audience, but they don't know the conversions. It's, it's very hard to track. Um, same thing with radio. I don't think that company did any radio commercials, um, but it was about, you know, just looking up, doing some research about 3000 per 1 million listeners. So again, you know, a couple thousand dollars, you know, and that's at least for one of these advertisements and, the problem is you really don't know if it's working or not. Um, regional newspaper ads could be, you know, six, seven, a thousand dollars and up to, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars, really depending on where you live. But again, you know, you could use a tracking number for, for some of these advertising strategies. Um, but besides that, you could use like a separate website URL. So if someone goes to it, you know that they're going to that page because they heard your ad, but most people don't do that. So it's, it's not easy to track. And that's, that's my main problem with the old school methods. It's just not that easy to track. Um, not necessarily, you know, if you have an unlimited budget, try everything, you know, just advertise wherever you can. But if it is limited, you could usually spend your money a little bit better on the, the new tactics. So Google ads. So for most of my countertop clients, they spend around $500 to $1,500 in Google ads a month. I'd say the average is right around like $1,100, $1,200. And that usually yields about 20 to 25 leads. So it just gives you an idea. And again, it could be different with the time of the month, the area that they're in. Again, we had a pandemic. Things were different then. But you know that's usually what they'll get out of that. Now with Facebook ads, you don't have to spend as much. Again, on these platforms, you can spend as much as you want. But Facebook ads, you, know, you can spend around, and it's usually set by day, or it is set by day, I should say. Um, but you can spend five to twenty dollars a day, and that usually is around, say, one hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars is ten dollars a day to six hundred dollars. So again, and that will Facebook's a little bit different. the The lead cost is usually around thirty five to seventy five dollars. Um, 
but it's different in all different areas. So it's it's tough to really pinpoint that exact lead cost. But the thing is, you can track these things. You know, uh, Google Ads usually around fifty to seventy five dollars per lead. Facebook ads again, could I've seen them as low as thirty. I've seen them as high as seventy five. So, but you know, knowing those numbers is fantastic as a business because you can, you know, spend money all day if you're if you know what you're getting per lead. Um, and then taking it a little bit further, tr turning that lead cost into what's turning into a job. Now, SEO, on average, most marketing agencies will charge around 1500 bucks or so. Um, and again, it's another type of marketing that you can track. Not as easy as Google and Facebook ads, but you can still track it. You can see you know, how many people are going to your website, how many people are calling you from organic traffic, SEO traffic. Um, you can see, you know, how many people are picking up the phone and calling you, submitting their a form on your website. So all of this stuff you can track, and that's really the biggest difference between old school and new school. It's just that you can track exactly what you're spending and what that's turning into. So let's talk about the strategy. We are going to go over some. Um, let me see here. So the strategy is, we are going to promote your business on Facebook and Instagram with a video ad. Now video ad is, I'll show you how to create a really simple slideshow type video ad. But you know, some of the clients that I work with, they already have pre-shot video, um, kind of like a commercial type that works good. What works really nice too is behind the scenes stuff. You know, um, take your, your iPhone, your Android, go into your shop, uh, take a, a quick, 30 second, one minute video of, you know, uh, fabricating some fat countertops, you know, do a, do a quick kind of walk around your showroom. Things like that work really nice on Facebook or social media, I should say, because people love that rawness. You know, we're kind of sick of like the commercials and all of that stuff. They do like, like cool looking videos, like there's some, I've seen some cool countertop videos where it's like real close ups of, you know, a saw cutting through a piece of stone or something like that. That is cool. You know, that, that is, that's a great video, but people also like the rawness, you know, they like kind of the behind the scenes thing. So, you know, do that, you know, 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Uh, but today I'll show you how to set up like a slideshow type video. Now you could do this for you could do this for a dollar a day, three bucks a day, five bucks a day. Most of my clients they do around five dollars to twenty dollars a day on their Facebook ads. Um, so that's usually the average. I'll show you how to target homeowners. I will show you. I uh, will do a slideshow of your work, and then we'll send them to your website. I mean, you know, social media is great. It's a different type of advertising medium where you know you're showing them they're not really interested in, in your business. I mean, they're on social media, they're just hanging out. When someone's in Google, they're in a different mindset. They're typing in granite countertops near me, kitchen countertops, uh, kitchen remodel, you know, whatever it is, they're looking for you. But on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, they're just hanging out. They could care less about your business. So, you know, you're interrupting them, but you know, it's, you can reach people. It's like, it's almost like a TV commercial. I mean, someone's sitting at home, they're watching TV, you're interrupting them with a commercial. Same thing with social media. The difference is you can spend a lot less on social media, plus you can track and you could set it up, you know, yourself or you don't need um, to go to a big agency to have them set up an ad for you. You know, there's different strategies. And of course, that's what we do for our clients, but you could do this on your own and, and test it out. So let's, um, and just to give you an example, so like this is, now this is a Facebook lead ad. So we're not gonna set that up, but this is just an example of what you can get with some Facebook ads. So if you look at May 1st to May 19th, this is a countertop company, five leads, $36 per leads, $181 spent. So again, with this new type of marketing, social media, Google ads, all that, you could track, you know, every, penny that you're spending on what's turning into a lead and it works you know not saying this is going to work all the time and for your area it's different in each area but you know it does work so 
the first thing you'll want to do with your Facebook ads is you need a Facebook ads account. You know, you have to, I'm pretty sure a Facebook ads business account is linked to a, a, a personal profile. And I say, I think, because I haven't done it in so long, you know, we set up ours years ago, all of my clients have them. So I haven't set one up from scratch in a while, but it's pretty easy. And I'll send out an email with these two links. You probably already have one already, but you do. There's two things. You need a Facebook business page, which you probably do already um, because you can't run it from a personal account. And I'm pretty sure it has to be linked to someone's Facebook account. So as long as you have a Facebook account, you're all set. And the, the last thing is they want your billing information. I mean, you're not going to be able to run anything until you they, you put in your billing information. So I will send those links out. But let's jump right in here and go right into Facebook. All right, so let's pull this up here. Let me just take a quick sip of water. All right, so I did a Facebook ads training last month. I don't even know what month it is anymore. I'm all screwed up on the time, but I did it about a month ago uh, for the ISFA members, and it was about how to create an image ad. So this is very similar. It's just this different type of ad. So I will go through some of the settings, and if you're on my last training, you know, you, you might have heard this already, and I'll just go through them pretty quickly. So when you log into Facebook Ads Manager, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the screen where you set up all your campaigns. You can pause them. You can change the budget. You can change the dates. Uh, you up here, the, really the only thing right now you need to know up here is you have to set up your billing. Because again, if your billing isn't set up, they're not going to run your ads. And I th they bill where when you hit a threshold, they're going to charge you. Um, plus at the end of the month, it, their billing is kind of weird. They, it, it seems like they just charge you at random times and it, it is kind of, they, they're always changing their billing. So, but you would go right here, set up your billing. Um, I'm not going to go through all these settings, but business settings is, you know, your business settings, events manager is where you would set up like a conversion. And again, I'm not going to go through that. Um, audiences, if you have, you know, you're setting up uh, retargeting audiences like the Facebook pixel, you would set it up here and then account settings. So that's that again. Most important thing is just set up your billing. So this is ads manager. Now the way a, a, a Facebook ad is, is broken up is it's broken up into a campaign, which is your objective. So you want more video views. You want traffic to your website. You want to promote a post. Uh, and that's engagement. So that's your objective. Then you go down to the ad set level and the ad set level is your targeting. So let's say you want to, your campaign is, I wanna set up a video ad. I want more video views on my video ad. My ad set is, I want to show this video to homeowners in Tampa, Florida um, that are age 30 to 65. So that would be at your ad set. And then your ad level, it's the last level right here is your ad. So again, your objective is video ad, ad set is your targeting, Tampa, wherever area you're in. And then the third level is just your actual ad. So I'm gonna show you how to set each one of these up. So what you're gonna do is click on create to get this started. Now I have these screens opened up because a lot of times with these trainings, the you know, screens are, it's, it gets a little slow. The video might get a little choppy. So I try to open these up beforehand so that doesn't happen. We're also supposed to get, I'm up in Connecticut. We're supposed to get a crazy thunderstorm any second. So I really hope uh, <laughs> that doesn't hit while we're doing this, but let's just see what happens. So you click on create. And this is, again, this is where you see your campaign your ad set level, and then your ad. Now you might see something that looks like this. And this is just another screen to set up an ad. You probably will see this at first if you've never set up an ad. I actually like the other screen. So I'm gonna go back to this one, switch to quick creation. I just think it's easier, it's what I'm used to. And you're gonna name your campaign. So I'm gonna name this video campaign. So there you go objective right here 
you're going to click on video views or you can click on traffic so you can actually click on either one um, because we will be sending traffic to your website so either one is fine actually you know what for this click on traffic it's okay it, it honestly doesn't matter because a traffic ad can be an image ad and it could be a video ad so we're going to set a video ad a video view ad can send traffic to your website so it really is like the same thing so click on traffic these they might be selected for you deselect them you don't need to do anything there um, and then click save to draft and then we're going to jump into each one of these you can also if you want to you could type in the ad set name so say like tampa or your area and then just you know add one and then save to draft so do that i'm not going to do that because i can see my computer kind of being a little bit slow so do that. It's going to you know, start your campaign or it's going to start setting it up. Then once you do that, you'll see it created in here. Um, just click on this. Once you click on your new campaign, it's going to take you into the ad set. So you click on that and it brings you into the screen. Now let's go over the screen because uh, this is all you're targeting. This is the good stuff right here. So again, name your ad, whatever it is, homeowners, Tampa, whatever area you live in, whatever. Just, just name your ad up there. Set your daily budget. So, you know, a dollar. I think the lowest you can go is a dollar. Let me try 50 cents. Oops. Yeah, it must be a dollar. So, I mean, again, you could test this for a dollar a day. You're probably not going to get a ton of traction, but at least people will see it. I mean, what advertising platform can you spend one dollar a day i don't think there is any other um so you know run it for a dollar if you don't want to really spend money right now just to kind of get get some experience get used to it so set it at a dollar five dollars ten dollars fifteen twenty dollars those are all good numbers to kind of start with i mean a dollar is kind of low but um three bucks five bucks ten bucks start somewhere there now you can set an end date but you I usually don't because I'll let it run and then I will stop it myself. So if you're a person that, you know, you might set this and you might forget about it, um, set an end date because if you totally forget about it, Facebook does not care. They're going to spend your money and you're going to have to pay them for the ad. So you can set an end date if, you know, you think you might forget about it. If not, just don't uh, select an end date. Now, as you scroll down more, Put your area in so you can put in counties you can put in zip codes um, since i've been talking about tampa let's just put in tampa so you could do city and then you could do a radius around this is usually the best way to target because if you do it by zip codes you might miss some people usually we do 30 miles so there 30 miles um, and then this right here People living in, I think the default will be people living in or recently in this location. You don't care about someone that's recently in it because they might just be on vacation there. So this is a good tip. Um, do people living in this location? So make sure you select that. 30 to 65 plus usually works for us pretty good. Um, all women, you could test that. If you have, if you look over here, this is the size of the audience, 150,000 people. Now, if I just select women, Going to update it, 95,000 people. That's still a nice size audience. So if most of your customers that come to you, if the majority of them are women, you might want to test that because the more your targeting is um, defined, the better your ad will perform and the less you'll spend for, for, for results. So you can keep it open where you select all or you can pick you know men or women. Most likely it is going to be uh, women uh, for our clients. That's what we see. But you can keep it open at first. Now, as you scroll down, here is the targeting. So <clears throat> let me explain this. So this right here is an interest. So you start, so essentially Facebook looks at someone's profile and they say, all right, they're interested in home improvement. Now you can see it's 380 million people um, on their platform. So that's a lot of people, you know. 
Um, but again, we're only looking in the Tampa area or your local area that are 30 to 65 plus. So we're already kind of defining it and, and um, narrowing that audience. So home improvement works really nicely. Unfortunately, no longer does Facebook have a homeowner audience. They used to, they took it away when that big Facebook data breach happened. Um, so unfortunately that's gone. So home improvement works and then you layer it on top of other audiences. So home improvement and then what works nice for us is education level. So associate degree, college degree, all of these, um, you start typing these into Google and they'll just pop up. So if I, let me get rid of college graduate. So if I start typing this in here, college grad, there you go, education level, bam. You just add that right in. So there you go. So what we're saying is they're interested in home improvement, plus they have a college education, plus they're married. Now, married is a trick loan because all of your customers might not be married, and that's okay. But for the sake of your Facebook ads, um, again, we usually see the best results with this audience right here. And... Um, if we don't have that, let me remove that. Let's see, it's 150,000. So now it's 290,000. So it almost doubles it. So again, it doesn't necessarily mean more people is better because it's just more broad of an audience. So I like to have it usually around a couple, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 people in this audience up to one, 200,000 people. If it's like three, four, 500,000 people, to me, it's a little too big. You know, um, I would rather have a smaller audience that you're showing these ads to. So again, you don't have to add in the married, but your area might be different. You know, you might have to take it out because your area might be less populated and you need to expand that audience. You know, you don't, if this says like 2000 people, that's, that's not enough. You need 10, 20, 30,000 at least. Um, and again, usually one to 200,000 is a good max. So sh st try to stay in that range. Now, as you scroll down, manual placements, it will automatically be set on automatic placements. You do not want that. Click on manual placements. And really what you want to do here is deselect basically all of this. I see this is selected. Deselect everything except Instagram feed and Facebook news feed. Now, if you have an unlimited budget, you can test these other feeds. This is where your, your ads are, are going to show. But what we've seen, they never really perform that great. Like Messenger isn't that great, an article, all of this stuff. The apps, nothing. So Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, keep those selected um, and deselect everything else. There's no easy way to do it. I'm pretty sure you just have to deselect each one, one at a time. So now as you scroll down a little more here, all this can stay the same, depending on, you know, I'm not sure what it will be picked for you, but click on link clicks because you really only want to pay when someone goes to your website. So you got that. That should be saved. Now you can go over into your ad. So the way to get to that is you click on this, then you're gonna click on the ad set, and then that's gonna bring you right into the ad. Again, I have all windows open up just in case one of them crash. I just wanna be uh, safe here. So now you create your ad. So again, just to go through real quick, we set up an, an objective of a traffic campaign, but we're gonna use it for a video. Um, the ad set is our targeting. We have Tampa in there. We have, uh, you know, uh, home improvement interests. We have all of that. And now we're going to create our ad, our ad. So jump in here. I'm going to take another quick sip of water. All right. So for this, you can name it again, whatever you want. When you name your ads, it's just for your internal, you know, internal usage. You, you just name it whatever you want. Pick your Facebook page. If you have an Instagram, pick that also. Go down and click on single image or video. 
and I'll show you how to create the video. So you could do two different types of videos. If you have one, just go to add video. It's going to pop open this box, upload the video. It's going to upload it and then select it. You know, and that's again, if you have some videos already created, test them. Now, keep in mind for Instagram, the video needs to be under 60 seconds. So just keep in, that in mind. If it's not, if it's over 60 seconds, it's not going to show on Instagram. And again, you know, Facebook owns Instagram. So these ads will show on Facebook and Instagram. But those are the best two platforms for kitchen and bath and countertop companies. Um, don't even worry about any other plat platform. It's all about Facebook and Instagram and, of course, Google. So you can select a video. Now, if you don't have one, um, simply click on this. Hold on. I'm going to actually click on this one here. We're going to do a slideshow. Now, these videos work pretty good. I'll show you the one that works good for us. Um, now, you can see they're all different. Six seconds, 15 seconds, six seconds. Six seconds is a little too short. You want 15 seconds. So we've used this one before. But the one that we like, let me just see. I think it's this one right here. So this one right here. This one's good. So it's very easy to do. Um, you basically... Just select it, click on continue, and then you upload your images. You just upload them here. Um, you put in some text if you want this, um, like family owned, and whatnot, and you just go through each one. I'm not gonna go through it because it's, it's pretty simple to do. You literally just pick an image for each one, Put text. You don't have to put text, but the text that works good is like family owned, um, large inv inventory of slabs and stock. That works good. Um, fabricate and install. Like terms like that. If you're a uh, countertop company, if you're a kitchen remodeler, um, again, same type of stuff like family owned, locally owned, um, get a free quote, uh, you know, uh, quick turnarounds, things like that is, is, or terms like that work good. So you're going to go through each one, select an image, go to the next one, do the same thing and just keep going through them. And then once you're done, you're going to do use video. F Facebook's going to create that video for you and then you'll be able to use it. And it's basically going to be something like this. It'll be a slideshow type video and you know, it'll be 15 seconds long. I wish they had a little bit longer of a video because I don't think 15 seconds is actually long enough. But, um, you know, it is, it works. You know, it's good. It's a, it, the, the effect actually looks pretty good. It's easy to use um, and people usually like them. So it's the easiest way for you to get a video up and running pretty quickly. So you would use that. Let me... Uh, Get out of there. So you're going to use that video or you're going to use one of your own videos just by um, uploading or picking one. So you do that. And then the couple of spots where you're going to add text is above the video. So above the video, this is just a picture of myself because it's just a placeholder right now. But there's some text above the video that you put right here. Text below it, what you put right here. And then you put your website address in there. And then you pick, you can see this right here, call to action button. You pick a button right here. Get quote works good. Book now. Um, is there a contact us? I think they got rid of that one. But usually we we use uh, get quote. Or even learn more. You know, if you want to send people to a project page on your website where they can look at your work, um, learn more works, works good. But we do like get quote. Now, again, send them to a page on your website where, you know, the best page. A lot of times that is the home page for most companies. Um, but if you can create a custom page on your website, you know, send them there. Like on our website, each page on our website is really built to convert. You can see all these conversion elements, book a call, book a call, and get this, get that. So, you know, our web website is built to convert. So yours is probably a little bit different. Most of the countertop companies I work with, they are a little bit different. But, you know, you know, send them to a page, you know, maybe a projects page where you have 
different pictures of um, your countertop projects, or if your kitchen remodel, different kitchen and bath. People like to look at pictures. So send them on your, to your website. Uh, but you also want to make sure that they can easily turn into a lead. So you want to send them here. Plus, they can easily click a button, call you, um, submit a form, and all of that. So what else do you have to do on this? And if you scroll down, if you have a P Facebook Pixel installed, you can pick it here. If not, don't worry about it right now. I mean, ideally, you should set that up, but it's too much to get into right now. You could just run an ad. If you're just going to do it a couple bucks a day, run the ad, test it out, see see what happens. Now, you know, don't expect to run it for like $20 and you're going to get like five leads. That's just not going to happen. If it does, that's fantastic. <laughs> Tell me how you did that. But most of the time, that does not happen. Um, you do have to test, you do have to run, you have to spend some money to see what works, what doesn't work. You know, the video might not work good. You might test another video with different pictures that might work better. Or maybe the get quote button works good. Maybe the, oh, there it is, contact us button works good. Um, you just got to test different things. So um, don't get discouraged if you run this for like 50 bucks and you're not getting anything. It you got to you got to test. But this is a good base for you to start. So again, just to give you a quick rundown, uh, add name up here, which you're only going to see. Pick your pages. Select a video here or create a slideshow here. Put some text above the ad. Put a little, uh, a little bit of text below the ad. Get a free quote today, something like that. Um, you know, learn more about us today. Contact us today, something like that. Uh, pop your website in here, and then put, pick a call to action button right here. So that is it. And then once you're done, you're going to click on publish, and it is going to, you know, take probably about a minute or so. It'll upload everything. Um, it'll, it'll publish it to Facebook. Facebook needs to review it. They once in a while will manually review an ad, uh, but you know. It's usually just their computer system um, going through the process. Could take a couple hours, could take even like two days. Sometimes it takes two days before it's actually live. So then you know, you'll see it in here when it's active. It might say in review. Um, and this is simply, you turn it on and off with this button right here. So you, know, you would go into, or you could turn it right off right here actually. You, know, you would just simply turn it off. That turns it off. And then... To turn it back on you just turn it back on they make it really easy to which is nice but it's also you know they make it very easy to spend money on their platform but again it, it's nice that it is this easy so that's about it let's jump back into here uh let's see let's see so if you want to book a strategy session um you know we do this for a living. Again, we only work with kitchen bathroom modelers, countertop companies, so we know your business. Um, all you have to do is go to our website right here, go on book a call, schedule a time, and we will jump on a call. We'll review your website. We'll review what's going on in your area. We'll look at your competitors. We will give you some good information. It's not just a 30-minute sales call. You're going to learn some good information um, we will present what we offer, you know, and our packages and all of that. And then if you're a good fit, great. If not, that's okay. You know, at least you, you, you'll get something out of it. Um, like I said, it's about 20, 25 minutes of you learning, five minutes of learning what we do. And then we answer any questions that you have. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, you know, this stuff is working right now. This is a, a campaign. This is a countertop company in, uh, North Carolina, these are their Google ads. This is a call log straight from Google. So you can see this was the 15th bunch of leads, 14th bunch of leads, 13th. So they're getting leads right now. We're actually seeing it really, it really picked up from like May, like the end of April to May and where it's still going. So that's fantastic. I, you know, I love to see that because it was low in like March, uh, you know, when the coronavirus was happening or was, was at its worst, I should say, um, in April. So it's really nice to see this. Um, so that's it. So let me know what questions you have. You can just chat, uh, type them right into the chat box. 
I'm going to just take a quick sip of water. I do see a question there. All right, so I see a question. Are the strategy set? Is it free? Yes, yeah, so you could book a call. It's 100% free. Um, again, it's it's really about 30 minutes. We go over your business, review your website. Um, I learn more about it, explain what we do, and that's it. So it's free. It's about 30 minutes long. All right, I see another question here. All right, let me pull up Facebook because it's about Facebook. And this question is basically asking, can you explain the targeting just a little bit more with the interests? So yeah, so right here you have your interests. You know, home improvement, anyone that likes something related to home improvement, I don't exactly know how Facebook knows that about you, but they know a lot about you. So, you know, their computer systems kind of figure out, all right, this person likes stuff about home improvement, you go into that audience. So the way this works is th this audience right here, 150,000, <clears> it's people in Tampa that live in a 30 mile radius in the circle. They're in, their ages are 30 to 65 plus men and women, and they like something home improvement, plus they have some type of college education, plus they are married. So it's not like one or the other. They have to match all three of them in order to be in this 150,000 um, size audience. So that's, it. you know, if I took this out, then it would just be home improvement and they have some type of college education. You can see right here, it says and, and. So again, it's this plus this plus this. Um, and, and that's how it works. All right, let's see. I see another question here. Um, cost per lead between Google and Facebook. Good question. So... Google, I'll kind of give you an average, you know, um, number that that we see. So, with Facebook ads, I think I have a screenshot in here. So, with Facebook ads, we see, you know, you could get leads for like this campaign. Again, this is a lead campaign, a little bit different. Um, than the video campaign, although you can run a lead campaign with a video. But this is, you know, five leads, $36 per lead. It's not always that low. That's a pretty good price. And these are actually good quality leads because we make them fill in a couple of options in the lead form. So usually what we see on Facebook is around $36. Could be as high as 75, could be as high as even 100. Um, or could some areas, Facebook ads just don't work that great in an area. It's, it's crazy. We've run countertop campaign in you know, the East Coast and then run it in the West Coast and the, the, the numbers are completely different. So Facebook, expect around, say, 30 to $100, and that's a kind of a big range. Now, on Google, we consistently see about $50. Um, again, you got to track everything. So we track calls, we track form submissions, all of that. But we see about $50 or so. Sometimes we'll see, like, in the 40s, um, again, up to about 75 to a hundred, usually not a hundred. It's usually around 75. So it's, you know, the, the difference is we do see a better lead quality from Google than Facebook. You know, I don't know exactly why I think Facebook, I think people are just, again, they're in a different mindset. So they're just kind of clicking on their phone, even though these lead ads right here, um, where the heck is it? These lead ads, the form that they have to fill out, like they have to put, answer some questions, they have to fill in, you know, put some more information in. So it's a better quality, you know, that does help, but uh, those Google ad leads are usually a lot better. So again, to to give it down, uh, break it down again, Facebook around 35 to 100. I know that's a big range. And then on Google, it's usually about 50 to 75 or so. All right. 
So I'm not seeing any other questions. But if you have any questions, go to my website, contact me. You know, I'm on social media everywhere. Just let me know. I can talk about this stuff all day. So let me know if you have a specific question. If you're interested and want to, you know, learn how we can help your business, definitely book a call. Like I said, you'll learn some good information on there, whether we work together or not, it, you'll at least get some good info on there. And that's about it. You know, I, I do have some downloads. You can go to my website, download that stuff out. But, um, you know, always reach out if you have a question, because um, like I said, I love helping businesses with this. We know your industry. And like I said, I can talk about this stuff all day. So um, that's about it. So thanks for joining. And I hope to talk to you all soon.